Good morning. Amazing how the sun doesn't come out nearly as early as it did when we first moved in. But that's okay. Uh, I'll show you how we're feeding cows now in the new barn. With a preface being, this is not how we want to feed cows long term. It takes much longer than it needs to. I'll explain why, but at least let's get the mixer in. It is a little entertaining in that we've spent all that money in lights and all that kind of stuff in the new barn. My drive shed still only has one light bulb. Maybe someday I'll put two in here so I actually see what I'm doing. Now the skid steer can in fact mix feed all on its own. The only catch is you gotta change and put tines on and kind of switch buckets back and forth. So I do cheat a little and use this tractor, the 61, um, and, and just kind of use it to throw the bales in when it's here. And then when it's not, I actually just use a skid steer. Okay, so we're gonna start with the heifer mix. The heifer mix is a pretty easy one. We have uh, one round bale of hay. We'll do not quite a full bucket, but basically a bucket of uh, corn silage and then some heifer mineral. Now I found that the mixer unloads a lot nicer with that bale if I let it chop for like 10 minutes or so. So we are gonna hop in the skid steer and we're gonna get all our corn silage that we need for everything ready right now. skid steer from the bunker up to the barn. Not perfect, but hopefully, like really this time, I, I was kind of hoping that six weeks ago it was done. I'm hoping maybe in the next week or two we actually have the mixer done right and don't have to keep doing that. Okay. 
Okay, dry cow mix is next. Very similar to the heifer mix. We're gonna put a bale in. We're gonna put a little more corn silage in for them than the heifers. And then we uh, have a little mineral and a little water. So it doesn't take very long either. Dry cows get a little extra calcium. And just a bunch of micronutrients. it up. Once it, while it chops, we'll start running that feed in for the heifers and the dry cows. Um, then we'll come back, we'll add a little bit of dry hay, corn silage, water, uh, a little bit of grain corn chopped up, and then kind of the vitamin mineral for them. So it's definitely the most complicated mix, but it also feeds the most head. you can see the scale right there. That scale is what we're actually aiming for and how we know how much of everything to put on. So it's the reason we zeroed it out first thing. So we knew we were starting from scratch and now it's just adding the right amount of each ingredient as we go. We'll finish with the heifers and the dry cow's hay. side up tomorrow. We'll clean the heifer side up the day after that and we just go back and forth. Oh, we better get out of the way. Here comes dad ripping with a feed cart.
well, that only took half an hour and it'll take another half hour when we feed the other half of the mix tonight. So all said and done, we put that conveyor on. I think between dad and I, we can save a good, a good two hours of work. Fingers crossed that actually comes out of the pencil factory this week and we get it on.